Falling out can be a very nervous time for most cruisers. To put it into perspective, imagine your house with everything you own in it being lifted up into the air by two straps, transported several meters from the water and then placed down on the ground with only a few stands to make sure your house stays upright. You can imagine why it can be a nervous time for most cruisers. It's hard not to think of all the possible outcomes that would result in you having a very bad day. As with most haul-outs, the hull gets a good pressure washing before the boat is secured in its spot. This is done to clean as much marine growth off the bottom before it's had a chance to dry. Wooden blocks are placed under the keel to protect it from the asphalt. The boat is then leveled lengthwise as well as side to side before the support stands can be placed. Working on a boat is hard enough, so there is no real reason to increase the difficulty level by having to deal with the lean as well. This is it. We're finally out of the water, and as you can see, this is a mess of a boat. This is after a year sitting in the water with, during the winter here in Sweden. So, job is to get this all washed down, polished, painted, change the zincs, and then get the boat back in the water. I've spent most of the morning just straightening up the boat getting all the bad spots done. Must say that brake cleaning fluid and acetone is your friend. As you can see, all the spots are gone. So now I just gotta polish it and then paint. three in the boat yard and I figured I'd show you the glamorous side of sailing. The boat is up on the hard. This is how we have to climb up onto our boat every day. We go up the ladder, up the back, the platform there, and then back down. This is every day that we got to do this. Plus the cockpit is a complete mess. We got a bunch of fools and everything else scattered all over the place. So, yeah, boat life. Today we're gonna to be cleaning up the rudder and the bow thruster propellers. As you can see, it's in need of some, some love and care here, but we'll get that all nice and shiny today. Today's day four in the boatyard. Today we got painting. We're gonna be painting this beautiful boat here. So let's get to it.
done painting we got two coats of paint on here and as you can kind of see from me I got another coat just on me now comes the most satisfying part of the whole job is removing the tape you want to remove the tape Anna yeah. should I get you started no. Yeah, let me get you started. Pull, pull at a 90. And just like that, Viking Goddess had a new couple of coats of bottom paint and was ready to be put back in her natural environment. In order to finish all the other jobs that needed to get done, she had to be back in the waters. <laughs>